Let's see, 159. Dude, I have to pee so bad. I don't think I have time. I have time. I gotta go. 30 seconds maximum. Don't let it start without me. Oh my god. Hello. Why am I seeing Fire Emblem immediately? Help me seize control of my fate. Tell me this isn't Fire Emblem Warriors. We shall fight. Revenge is not a thing you take for someone else. It's Warriors? God damn it. Nobody cares. How about a real Fire Emblem game? How about that? Okay, well, I missed nothing important, so here we go. We're back. We're in it. Wars 1 plus 2 reboot campaign. We already knew this was coming out, in except that you deleted it. Advance Wars. In both campaigns, you can Advance Wars looks alright, but like every game that's not Fire Emblem that's Flex your does or tries to do what Fire Emblem does always like doesn't modes. quite feel the same Go for high in terms of in being good. Enemies, like I played Wargroove and Wargroove is pretty good, but it's it's not the same. So I feel like this is going to be that again. Where it's fine, but it's not like for me necessarily in no man's sky every star is the light of a distant sun each orbited by planets teeming with life why travel to planets of your choosing in this infinite procedurally generated universe but how come Here, though you'll discover but why are, would land, people still be doing this and they are 2022 before, though and may never be seen again to survive that dude was riding that moth like he was sitting on a toilet. Even your own Pirates hunt unwary travelers. In the wow. Watchful. You're making No Man's Sky sound so interesting. And, actions and also making it look a trainer. lot worse on Nintendo Switch. Oh my god, look how blurry this shit is. How look how horrendous this, this uh, freaking graphics are. And I have it on the max no thing, Sky so it ain't my computer. Nintendo Switch this summer. Oh yeah, you're gonna port a horrendous version of a five-year, six-year-old game no one should be playing anymore. Alrighty then. Oh, dude, no way you're doing Super Mario Strikers! This is what- this is one of the things I was saying! I was like, they should do another Mario sports game. I didn't say it on stream, but I was saying it, like, earlier in my life. That's a foul. Oh, yeah. That's a day one buy. That's a day one buy. That's a foul. <laughs> and that's cheating. Oh, is that how soccer works? Thanks. And pass accuracy. Whoa. Can compete against each other on one Nintendo Switch system. Okay, what about online though? In addition to individual matches, online play will have an online club mode. Okay. Join an in-game club and compete for placement in the rankings. Up to okay, 20 but players it... can join a club. So create your own and invite friends and family to play alongside Is it going to be like Mario Tennis Jordan Aces where playing with your friends online is like just almost impossible because of how stupidly complicated it is? Because of just how not intuitive the lobby creating system is? June 10th, baby! My birthday! That's not a coincidence. They knew. It's a salmon run? Oh, okay. Splatoon 3 salmon run. Or is it even Splatoon 3? Kind of hard to tell the difference. It could be new Splatoon 2 content, you don't know. Looks identical. This game looks exactly like Splatoon 2. It literally just might be Splatoon 2. The content to tide you over until 3 comes out. Who can say? Wow, egg throw? That's crazy. This is a day one buy now. Are we sure this isn't Splatoon 1? I have Splatoon 3 Salmon Run. All right, it looks exactly the same. Salmon run. Splatoon the new Giant Call of Duty salmon. confirmed. Ah, hey, you got yourselves a real release date, summer 2022. That won't get delayed, I'm sure. I already don't care. So, so immensely uninterested. Ooh, mechs, it gets worse. 
a full remake of the first Front Mission game is storming onto Nintendo Switch. Never heard of that in my life. In this tactical, Ooh, tactical RPG, game, though, you'll pilot weaponized machines called oh. Vonsers and lead gain the. It did not give off that vibe in the beginning. For enemies and match various weapons and parts to customize Nah, it still kind of looks like trash. You can just play Into the classic. Breach. Pixar inspired. And the Switch is going all in on racing games right now. Roster of if Aunt Mario Kart 9 is still coming, because they got that Chocobo thing, to battle and now they got this thing. Across the finish line, choose Mickey Mouse for symphonic speed. Sully for monstrous power. Or Mulan for explosive maneuvers. Or Mulan for cross-dressing. Disney Speedstorm is a free-to-play game. Of course it is. I don't know, dude. Modes. This looks like a little... Disney only a Speed little Storm bit better than Garfield Kart. Nintendo Switch this summer. Dive into we are being inundated with racing games lately. Nintendo Switch. Unleash the power of the force in no. this classic Star Wars action adventure. Pass. As use button controls or opt for motion controls enhanced from the original Wii version. Nah. <laughs> you can also duel locally with a friend to determine who is the galaxy's most powerful Jedi. But who is gonna do that though? Wars, the Force Unleashed launches on Nintendo. Bro, you need to get this game so we can one v one. Ezio Auditore da Firenze awaits in three critically acclaimed Assassin's Creed games. Ooh, if you like Assassin's Creed, but you want it to look a lot. Not worse. Get the Assassin's Creed collection on Switch. Figures. Plus, take advantage of enhanced features for the Nintendo Switch system on the go. What enhanced features? Controls, I know you don't mean graphics. HD Rumble, SD Gundam Battle Alliance. Oh, another game that doesn't Nintendo matter? Switch this year. Wow, crazy. Super good, dude. Two I didn't even catch a whiff of what that was. Triumphant return of this RPG classic. Ooh, this also looks bad. A I'm not a JRPG guy. One I'll say that up front. Day. I will. I generally enjoy their narratives, but I don't like playing the games. He finds that he over you know? forty characters can join your party, depending on Whoa. the choices you make. I bet at least six of them are worth using. The endings that, like the ability to turn off enemy encounters, and a newly enhanced huh? soundtrack. You just play the game without Plus, ever fighting anybody. I'm waiting for something like good besides Super Mario Strikers. That was good. I need more stuff like that. And if you dedicate 10 minutes to Kirby right now, I am Rage Queen. I don't mind Kirby, but I don't think this game's gonna be that good. I wouldn't go so far to say it's gonna be Balan Wonder World 2.0. I just, it's gonna be like Mario 3D World, where it's just meh. This looks like it's gonna be as good as like a mid-tier Mario game. That, that's that's my final answer. So like, not as good as Odyssey at all, but maybe as good as like Sunshine or something. Kirby can even weaponize a mouthful of water. Whoa! Like, like Squirtle. We've never seen that before. Kirby rescues Waddle Dee's. Waddle Dee Town will continue to grow, and more resources will become available. Cool. I like a collect the fun aspect. At Waddle Dee's Weapon Shop, familiar copy abilities can be evolved. Don't say that. Don't say you can evolve your upgrades. Evolve copy abilities to expand Kirby's range of attacks. Oh, okay, okay. Also change All right, you put in some cool ideas in here. Make him this looks do. like a solid 8 out of 10. 7.5 to 8 out of 10, depending on how, like, the mechanics are. I may get this. I may get it. That was Kirby and the, Forgotten the only issue is that the other game that comes out on that same day is Ghostwire Tokyo, and I'm definitely getting that. That's right, Otani son. Don't care. MLB the show is coming to Nintendo Switch. It's baseball. That means you can play modes like That means you can play baseball. That's all you need to say, dude. It's a baseball Switch. game. Everyone is already either sold or not. You're not gonna like convince anybody any to get a baseball game. Three Kingdom Hearts collections are almost here. I heard that this Hearts, sucks. The Kingdom Hearts 3 like just the, the version DLC. that the cloud version is coming to, coming to Switch, Switch that they're just like really bad. That can be played while somehow. connected to. Ooh, more ports. Come here often. Either way, more worse you're ports. In for a yes. Puzzling treat. Yes, worse ports. Please, games, more of them. Portal. If you need a handheld way to play PC games, I think they're making a new thing for that. Uh, don't know what I'm looking at. The 
RPG Live Alive makes its overseas debut. Oh, that was the title. I thought they were just multiple stories. I don't know, putting gibberish on the screen. Yeah, people who like stuff like this will like this probably. Live Alive launches on Nintendo Live Alive. <laughs> but why is it called that? Oh, no. of the Wii Sports series. Do you have to? Here Unless it's literally free. In the Nintendo Switch sports game. Bowling. I do like me some Roll bowling. Ball straight ahead. Knock your opponent off the platform while attacking. Oh, and also ahead. some straight up murder. Yeah. <laughs> you can play shootout mode with intuitive kicking motions. I doubt it. Badminton. <laughs> Control your shots left and right while keeping the shuttlecock in the air. Yeah, Unleash say shuttlecock again. Smash shots to gain the upper hand. Ooh, you know, just something that should have launched. The game supports local with the play with fan play. You don't get to charge sports. money for this game. That's all I'm gonna say. But they said there's a physical copy, win, so I don't think they're just gonna the start handing face. those out at Walmart. You know. Since I'm already here, I'd like to show you some gameplay of one of the newly added sports, volleyball. We, you already did in the preview. Oh, he'll be including some live commentary throughout our match. So of all the games, this is the game they want to do like an extended right, uh, gameplay session of. Uh, with Takahashi up front. Wow, everybody who works at this company is gonna love this, and nobody we else begin is. With Koizumi serving. Takahashi makes the block. Another one's coming. Koizumi saves it. Takahashi didn't quite get it in time. That's basically right, what it looks it's okay. like. It's okay. The game's not over. Everyone's just like. Now the other team serves. Koizumi receives it. Takahashi sets it up. Imagine being this voice actor. That was an introduction to Nintendo Switch Sports. Yeah. For some reason, it sure was. The game launches April 29th. Yeah, this presentation was 35 minutes long just for this game. Everyone's gonna be so excited to sign up for that. That's great. I know you That's didn't shoot. For now about Don't. Nintendo Switch Sports. Good. I hope you're looking forward to this game. Let's Good. See few more Nintendo Let's Switch see. Games. Yeah, you be a few more. If this dude was like, all right, that's all we have for today. Put on a live concert with up to four players in Donchen Band. I can just imagine like four kawaii Asians content. playing this game with humongous smiles on their face the whole time. I need to see it. Ah, uh, yeah, this game. The I didn't like the demo. And his allies will be engulfed in the I just did not like some of the battle nations. mechanics. Your but maybe it was a pacing issue because I didn't like that they immediately put you in charge of like 11 people. Like you gotta gradually reel me in when it comes to unit management. Cuphead, the delicious last course. Yes, sir. Here, you'll explore a brand new Inkwell Isle. Do we have a release date yet? Bevy of new bosses with wild personalities and even wilder attacks. Do we have a release date yet so the I can get this on this anything but Switch? New player. Getting hit even once causes a game over in the brutal dread mode difficulty. Can you face okay. this new challenge? Why? Why would you do that? And for players new to the Metroid series. Take advantage of increased recovery with the newly added rookie mode difficulty. Oh, they did it in both directions. Earthbound! They're, the guy did tweet for some reason, for the, you know, for the reason that everyone thought that he tweeted. I never played any of these games back in the day. But I do like Amori, and Amori is supposedly based on that system. So maybe I'll like him now. Come on, we need something else, big man. We need an announcement. Super Mario Strikers level big. What's this? I'm looking at some Mario Kart right now. I'm looking at some Mario Kart. It doesn't look like new Mario Kart, though. That all sound like Mario Kart 9 to me. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass. You may recognize some courses from past Mario Kart games. Eight courses will be released at a time over six waves. That's 48. By the end of 2023, they ain't doing Mario Kart 9 ever. They're never doing it. Show me the pricing model. The pricing model will make or break this. Don't you get people hyped for something and then make it cost like $60 overall? Of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Fast will launch March 18th. Okay, all the waves are 25. A Nintendo eShop. Waves one through six are one DLC price of twenty-five dollars. No That's probably worth it. Online. Oh, Let's take a look. Last announcement. Should I already know what this is? Five if I was a true fan live. of whatever it is. And living to fight. It sounds like Xenoblade already. I hear a British accent. I'm like, oh, it's Xenoblade. Got it. I'm not really a Xenoblade guy. It's the only way you're gonna either. defeat the real enemy. That's a lot of these games, like, I don't like the combat. Everything else would have been fine. 
good. But the combat isn't to my taste. It's cool because, like, the land of Xenoblade, that city over there, looks like the sword. Do you think they did that on purpose? September. The story of Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Wow, they lied. They the said they were only doing first half of 2022. Chronicles and Xenoblade Chronicles but that's coming out in September. Well, then that means you should have announced a real Fire Emblem game.